gonna show you guys how to do the mercury glass on window panes. Got these window panes for $2 each and they're really big. So they're about three feet by three feet. And you take Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect. It's actually a small can. Um, it's kind of expensive. I got these on sale for $5 each, but if you can find them for eight, that's pretty much standard. So just give this a good shake. Make sure your windows are clean. Kind of the biggest thing that you could do to mess this thing up. And uh, pick up your can. I'm just gonna get up in here and start spraying. I like doing it in layers. And so when you spray it on, it actually is matte, but once it dries, it's shiny like mirror effect. So it's pretty cool the way that it dries. So you can see it looks kind of foggy, but this is the back side of the window. The front side that you're gonna see is underneath. So I'm spraying on the back side. So keep that in mind, do not spray the front, spray the back. And once you turn it over, you'll see once it's dry that it is more of like a mirror light effect. If you start feeling like there's dripping and build up on here, make sure you wipe it because you don't want drips. You want to make sure that this stays like spray. So you can see that it's kind of drying and you can see that it's starting to look more like a mirror again. you can tell where it's dry because you can see that it looks more like a window again. Once it's all reflective like that, that means it's dry. You can turn it over and look. But I'm actually going to make this look like mercury glass. So over here, I have mixed up some vinegar water. It's one part vinegar, one part water. Once this is all dry, I'm going to show you how to use this. My windows are almost done drying. You can see that they're almost completely reflective. And again, this is the back side. I just sprayed this side. Um, and uh, there's a couple spots that aren't dry, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take my vinegar water solution and I'm just gonna get my hand up in here. I don't like using a spray bottle because it's too fine and I like bigger spots. So I'm just gonna take my hand and just flick it all over of this, <laughs> all over this window panel. And I like big spots again, so I'm just gonna kinda go crazy. You can see my water spots like that. And flick it on there. And once you get it to how you kinda like it, make sure everything's kinda even. Some big spots there, some big spots up here. And I'm gonna do this to all the window panels and let it sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna go back with a soft rag. T-shirt is probably the best, cause it's not gonna make up make little marks. Don't use paper towel unless you're going to see paper towel markings. Um, but yeah, t-shirt, microfiber cloth is the best. Use that and then soak up the vinegar once it sits for a little bit. Okay, so my water vinegar solution is on this window and I have a soft T-shirt. Again, use something really soft, otherwise it's gonna scratch your paint. And what you're gonna do, let me see if I can get the angle. I'm just gonna come in here and blot it. Do you see how it's taking it away? See those little flakes? And blot it, see that? And it comes off easy, so be careful. You could take off more, you could take off less, depending on what you wanna do. But just blot it. just gently, so you're not taking off big chunks. You can kind of see that one just came out really good. But once you turn it over, you're gonna see what I mean. There you go, that's a good reflection angle, you can see. So you can see that the more that I blot it, the more it's gonna come off. So just kind of lightly, do not wipe. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Mercury glass. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished with everything. Okay, so all the vinegar solution is pretty much picked up. And I turned it over and that's what it looks like. 